Hello students, I hope you all are in the ping of health. Uh, today I am going to revision uh, from the second unit to prose. The topic is I can't climb trees anymore, Ruskin, written by Ruskin Bond. Okay, who is the author of this topic? Ruskin Bond. The topic is I can't climb trees anymore. I hope you remember this uh, summary. Uh, here this author, you know, he was go uh, old enough. Uh, then 25 years back he lived in a house there he uh, just uh, he was share, uh, staring at the house because he lived there okay uh, uh, by seeing that he could uh, recollect all his past memories beautiful memories he lived with his uh, grandma okay so he was uh, recollecting and he feel uh, so happy with it right uh, that is what main gist of this prose okay um, let's quickly recall the summary okay so here the author is Ruskin Bond the narrator visits his old house where he lived 25 years ago yeah this house you know on the way he just visited uh, his uh, own house he lived there 25 years back okay how many years he lived three years he lived in that house okay as a young boy uh, and uh, somewhat adult also in this two age then uh, now Connor lives there with his wife and daughter so when he was looking at the house uh, a girl the how he was looking at it the uh, there was not much altar okay altar meaning change uh, some trees flowers some uh, plants only changed a small altar only uh, so he feel very happy by seeing that now another family new family living in that a colonel family colonel army officer okay with his family he lived there with his wife and daughter the narrator stands by side of the road and looks over the garden all around at the old house here yeah. uh, at the side of the road he was standing there and looking at the house okay because it's a it's a new strange people inside okay living new family so he cannot enter without their permission so far away he was uh, standing there and just staring looking at the place each and every place and he was recalling those past memories okay then the girl in the house asked him to come in so one little girl came out of the house that uh, uh, colonel's daughter okay and uh, she asked why are you standing here you just come in like that she invited him so he jumped over the wall and he entered okay uh, when he wo lived there that time uh, turnstile that one uh, uh, gate okay uh, any one person only can enter at a time it's around so like that one uh, turnstile was there but now it wasn't Every where they built compound okay then the narrator climbed over the wall and sits inside on a child for a while gasping for but he bold enough enough he couldn't jump over the wall he was uh, yeah like of a breath then the girl gives the middle-aged man a hand to come down yeah she gave a hand to get him down uh, both of them sit on a stone bench so he got there and he, both of them sat under a, a mango tree okay under the mango tree uh, uh, stone bench and they had a nice chat okay then the narrator tells her how he enjoyed himself in that house as a boy yeah when he was a boy he enjoyed there very well okay with his grandma uh, then uh, play hide and seek and with his friends he lived and enjoyed that uh, that place very much he was uh, sharing those experience memories with his uh, the, this daughter this little girl okay uh, he had kept an iron cross in the hall of jack fruit tree see there you know he had the habit of climbing trees okay so in those days when he was young he collected some things okay like uh, the marbles books certain things he collected and he kept in that uh, tree a hole okay in a hole in that tree there was a hollow place there he kept so now he shared this uh, uh, incident with this uh, girl uh, as he is unable to climb up the tree the girl climbed up to the hollow um, of the tree and took takes it see 
now you know when he said this this girl in a shoe climbed up and she took out all those things okay and especially one uh, iron cross was there then after turning uh, the iron cross um, over on his palm the narrator gives it to the girl saying that he came there in search of his youth he takes him leave for the girl yes he when he got those things his old book marbles then uh, the one iron cross uh, those things he just uh, took a look and iron cross you know kept it on his palm and he took a turn it and he took look and uh, when he was about to leave he gave it to this girl and he said to that girl i came here for uh, my youth not for this iron cross like that he said and left from that place right uh, this is what the short summary of this uh, prose so please <clears throat> uh, read this prose two three times okay then let's take a look at the glossary part uh turn style i told you know it says kind of gate okay bar should be there anyone it to turn then any one person can enter at a time like that kind of turn style then uh holy hawks so holy hawks see the turn style mechanical gate consisting of a revolving horizontal arms fixed to a vertical post allowing only one person at a time to pass through then holy hawks a tall eurasian plant of the mallow family with large showy flowers yes holy is a kind of plant okay flowers then colonel colonel is a rank of officer in the army then brigadier is a top of the grade okay brigadier then colonel that is what the order of the post then trapeze trapeze meaning uh, horizontal bar hanging by two ropes and uh, free to swing used by acrobats in a circus i hope you might have watched the circus they are acrobats the people you know upside down they hang okay they swing that's what uh, trapeze the next muttered muttered meaning to utter words in a low tone to utter words utter say words in a slow sound okay very low sound slithered meaning slide or slip unsteadily on the on a loose or slippery surface slithered he jumped over the wall you know then he slipped slithered okay yeah, so that he got and then pruning pruning you know it's act of trimming the plant i hope you might have seen in a garden or some house also beautiful plants you know they trimmed in different shapes it gives more beauty okay that's what uh, trimming it has uh, special tools and all for trimming then bougainvillea bougainvillea is a kind of plant a tree we could find this at the road side okay paper uh, fly just paper fly it looks so beautiful when it fall on the road uh, it looks so, so gorgeous okay then which been ornamental shrubby climbing plant that is widely cultivated in tropics then chiming chiming making melodious ringing sound typically to indicate the time chiming is sound uh, for example alarm sound and uh, like that the chiming low sound then <clears throat> bagariga bagariga means a small australian bird of the parrot family often kept in a cage as a pet yes it's a kind of pet animal okay bird it kept caged that that's kind of bird then cranking cranking a act of Uh, turning a handle to start an engine uh, cranking it's an act of turning handle to start the engine it's a vehicle part of the vehicle okay uh, car uh, start the car with noise okay noise then uh, sprightliness uh, lively and full of energy sprightliness meaning lively and full of energy so i uh, have to learn this words it's important please turnstall holy hawks colonel brigadier trapeze then muttered slithered pruning uh, bougainvillea chiming bagariga cranking sprightliness clear so learn all these uh, vocabulary part then um, let's move to question answers uh, book inside a few question answers given then book back also some question answers are there let me uh, 
uh, explain it. First question: What was the old house built with? That old house, you know, it built with. Uh, the old house was built with a solid block of granite. Yeah, it's built with, filled with the granite, a block of granite. Okay, don't forget this. What was the uh, um, old house built with? It's a solid. Um, block of granite okay and does the narrator still uh, live in the house no the narrator doesn't live in the house yes this uh, he lived in that house 25 years back that is why he came now and just had a look at the house right uh, so he wasn't living right now the next question what was the visitor hide in the jackfruit tree yeah what are the things he hid in the jackfruit uh, that a girl took it right now he was old enough so he couldn't climb as he was young then the visitor hid marbles what are the things marbles a book which are not supposed to read is that kind of book and some old coin yeah gold coin collection also was that then I had an iron cross uh, in the jackfruit so what are the things he kept in that hollow marbles books some coins and iron cross. These are the important four things he kept in this uh, tree, okay, hollow uh, place. When did the visitor actually hide the iron cross? Yes, the visitor actually hid the iron cross 25 years ago, I told you, right? 25 years back he lived in that house, that time he hid there. Out of hurry he left that thing and he went, okay. That's what you have to learn all these question answers. The next book back question answers explain blessing rest on uh, the house where the shadow of a tree falls. Usually his grandmother says use this phrase. Okay, the blessing of the house is shadow of the tree. Okay, uh, blessing the lesson beginning itself uh, with this uh, quote only this phrase blessing rest on the house where the shadow of a tree falls the narrator's uh, grandmother used to say these words she felt that a house with a tree shadow falling on it was uh, blessed so she made this remark yeah she feels we are not here she insists deforestation okay we should not cut down the trees so if, uh, uh, if there is a lot of, if there are trees, definitely it's a blessing for the living things, okay, living human beings, animals, everybody. That's what she insisted here. Then next question, what did the writer observe about the house? The writer observed that the uh, old house he had lived in as a boy hadn't changed much. Yes, when 25 years back uh, he lived, nowadays you know the maximum houses are they uh, built a new altar that completely right but uh, this house you know didn't change that much uh, as it was a slight change only okay hadn't changed that much the turnstile was gone and the opening was walled up yeah the important changes are uh, the turnstile wasn't there instead of that they built up a wall okay that is what the main changes he found there then what was the local superstitions about trees? The house with trees, a shadow falling on it, got a blessing. See, already mother said, grandma said, right? This falling shades is a blessing. So the local people believed that the present owner of the house got the tree's blessing. So all the other people believe that this present owner, who's the present owner, that colonel, right? He also getting the blessing, right, of the nature, like that being. Then what did the narrator do with the turnstile when he was a boy? Yeah, when he was a boy, he played with this turnstile, right? That's what. As a boy, the narrator would swing on the turnstile. He went round and round until he became dizzy, giddy. Okay, when until he get giddy, he just turned rounds and rounds. He was playing. Who is the owner of the house now? The colonel is the owner of the house now, right? Then. Why did the visitor return to his old house? The visitor turned to the old house looking for his youth. Even he looked at that old house, he 
all the uh, beautiful memories of his past come to his mind for that youth only he came there right that's what mentioned here how did he get back the iron cross the girl in the house climbed up the thick branch of the tree he, when he shared the scenes that he uh, kept a treasure in that tree immediately the girl climbed up okay he shook the uh, took the iron cross from the hollow and gave it to the narrator she immediately gave it to him and uh, then uh, he got back the iron cross here yeah, through that only he got the iron cross that treasure he, which he hid 25 years back in that hollow place okay how did the grandfather get the iron cross the grandfather got the iron cross from a german soldier during the first world war yeah actually this is a treasure for him why because he got it this uh, iron cross belongs to his grandfather okay uh years back he got from german soldier that's why uh, it's treasure for him then what did he do with the old iron cross the narrator placed the iron cross in the hands of a girl he told her to keep it yes then you know when he got the iron cross he just took a look at this uh, cross okay he turned to look at it and then he handed over to this girl okay he gave it to that girl and he left from that place but the narrator placed the iron cross in the hands of the girl he told her to keep it then uh, where had he left this his childhood treasure where he had left there was a small hall on a thick branch of the jackfruit tree the narrator had left his childhood treasure in it yeah where he had kept his childhood treasure that jack big jackfruit tree there was a big hall okay there he kept his treasure what are things were there Uh, a book then marble some coins collection of coins then what else with this i am cross okay these are his uh, treasure he kept in that jackfruit tree clear so please it's quite easy only all these question answers and all so just to take a look at it uh, read it once the textbook and to learn all these question answers and the glossary parts so these are very important to clear then uh, <clears throat> learn the vocabulary part also that's it so don't pile up the work please uh, learn it and read it understand the story very well okay once again what is the topic i can't climb trees anymore why he can't climb trees anymore because he was old enough that's why he cannot climb the trees why he visited that place to get his old past memories right he got his past memories and was looking at it. then he what is that he got the treasure which he hid 25 years back then he gave that cross precious cross to that little girl right so in their new uh, family living that is colonel family army family okay so who saw the raskin bond clear so read this and learn this meet you in the next class thank you